Can you describe your management style? What is important for me is to match the mission with the professional competence and appetence of people you are working with. That means that uh, you need to observe and to listen to your colleague in order to know where, or she, where she or he will perform. According to me, integrity, implication and confidence are essential notions in a management relation. Uh, you have to show the way in order to be followed and respected. The, for me, the hierarchy deals. For me, hierarchy deals with responsibility and protection. I consider myself as an orchestra conductor. The team is essential to perform. To perform the conductor is just a facilitator. What interests you most in your current work? Currently, I assist Mr. Laurencier with the work that he does, consulting work for the college. And it's pretty interesting, encountering new projects, new opportunities, getting locked, and then trying to find a solution. What do you like most in your current job? The human side, uh, helping students to build the, the, their international academic uh, experience, advising them, seeing them grow up. Organizing, planning, anticipating, meeting and working with people from many countries, taking into account their culture, their way of thinking, when you build a project with them, that's very interesting and challenging. Was how do you typically approach new projects? Uh, in fact, uh, as I was I am working in IT, IT is, is aimed to serve processes. So first of all, when we have a project inside of us, uh, we should have a business project manager. So this is the guy or the girl we have to deal with and to talk about to talk with about their needs. So we have to be very um, we have to listen to them for all their needs and imagine how to build tools or things uh, that may uh, their project their project happen and that can help the process uh, on IT uh, because this is my this is my job um, we um, most most of the time we use the agile uh, method the agile methods uh, work uh, on three main steps uh, first steps is we, after analyzing their needs we implement something after we put these things in the hand of, of our customer and we analyze how it works and after we change things and we are repeating the other three steps until we can until we have uh, achieved our goal of um, uh, serving 80% of the needs of the users uh, most of the time it works and we can uh, achieve this goal quite rapidly if we have uh, the good feedback for users how do you typically uh, deal with a new project if you want to be successful with a new project, my advice would be to be well organized and to follow important steps before starting. First of all, you have to define goals. You need to understand perfectly what is expected to give the right direction to the project. What are the priorities? Which deadlines? What budget is allocated? Who will I work with? And what kind of deliverables? Then make a list. List all the tasks, whatever comes to your mind. Ask yourself, what do I need beforehand to be able to do this? What does that mean for the rest of the project? With this method, you will not forget anything. Then, all you have to do is tidy them up and run them in chronological order in most cases. Don't forget to identify the main constraints before allocating the necessary human and material resources. When it's done, you will be able to start scheduling. Plan all your tasks and don't forget to update your project because it never goes as planned. How do you work in a team? I work for the international department with the three other people. Teamwork is an integral part of the way we work, so it's very important 
to define everyone's uh, action, uh, actions and interact uh, clearly. Information sharing and good coordination are essential, as is uh, trust within the team. Uh, for example, when we welcome international students at the beginning of each semester, uh, we start by assigning different tasks to, ev to each other. And uh, then at the end of the day, uh, we debrief on the actions that have been taken.